Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to show off a little Arduino parking sensor I've been working on. I got this idea from another uh, uh, YouTuber. Um, just wanted to show you my implementation here. Uh, basically what I've got is a regular old uh, Arduino um, rangefinder, ultrasonic, uh, mounted in a little uh, acrylic um, fixture that's a uh, decora size. Um, that uh, I'm gonna mount in a low voltage box in the wall here. And it's hooked up to a little Arduino Nano, a couple of wires. Uh, it's temporary right now, just to test to see if it works. So I've got a similar arrangement up here. Um, this is a uh, NeoPixel uh, ring LED. Um, and basically, it's uh, just wired up in the back with a button. Another uh, Decora sized. Um, fixture I've created. Right now it's just temporarily clamped here so I could uh, test it out and make sure everything works. And uh, it's gonna be mounted higher up on the wall. And the idea here is, got my uh, simulated car pizza box. Um, as you drive into the garage, uh, the power is sent to this thing from the garage door opener. Um, I've got a little adapter that uh, plugs into the light socket, five volts from that uh, little USB power brick going into some Cat 5e that was already strung through the wall. So the uh, remotes on the wall only required two wires. So I used the rest for five volts. Um, and basically what happens here is when you open the garage door, the light comes on, powers up that five volts, goes through there. I'm gonna have to run that wire down and under and then back up the wall. And I'm going to have another one for my other bay here. But basically, as you drive in, light turns green, lets you know that the system is running. As you approach your designated parking spot, the LEDs light up blue around the ring, indicating how close you are. As it moves closer and closer and closer, it turns red. And that's how you know when to stop. The button is to reset the desired parking distance. So what you would do is pull into your garage the spot you want to stop every time and then you go up to your button and hold it down. Once that counts around it'll flash a couple times to let you get out of the way so you don't interfere with the signal. Measures it and then sets it. And this is your new stopping distance. So you see how it's red? That means uh, if I move it back just an inch it, uh, it, that's the new, that's the new stop distance. And, uh, yeah, it works pretty well so far, just testing with a pizza box here. I'm assuming a car bumper is probably a better reflector of the, uh, the little ultrasonic sensors. Um, because that's what they use in bumpers anyway. And basically this is, uh, just so that when we get our new car, which is going to be the longer car of the several we have. Um, we're not gonna have a whole lot of room to walk in this garage uh, with the car parked here. And I wanted to get it as far back as possible to give me room to walk through there into my messy shop area. <laughs> so basically this is what I'm doing. And uh, have one in the bay over there, one in the bay over here, powered the same way uh, with just a, you know, a little, little five volt adapter on the light. Um, and then, uh, it's got an extra wire too that's going to run down into the that other remote and uh, through the wall. So that's uh, that's my little system, and I'll uh, probably upload the files for the um, these little wall plates. I may actually end up cutting some of these out. Uh, it ends up looking really nice actually uh, when you got the the Decora uh, face plate there. Um, and, uh, yeah, I may just end up posting these files. These are pretty easy to cut out and assemble and just glue together with super glue or acrylic glue or whatever. Um, the little nano fits in there. All this stuff is super cheap. Like the, these little, uh, off-brand nanos are like, I think 10 bucks or something like that. 12 bucks. And these little sensors come in like a four pack for, geez, I don't know, 15 bucks. And the little NeoPixel ring is pretty cheap and the button is cheap. It ends up looking really nice. So yeah, just a pretty simple little system here. Just program it, pick a new spot, 
it'll flash and there's a new distance so so now it's super close but it's hard to get this all in frame and it's actually surprisingly precise um, the distance so I think it's probably a little better than uh, the old tennis ball on a string for one I'd be walking through here and I don't want to smack my head on a tennis ball every time I walk in the garage and then uh, yeah, it's a lot. It's also probably better than just ramming into the my uh, water pipe right there. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my little my little setup. I'll uh, take some more pictures, and video when it's done. All right, so uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little demo of the uh, parking sensor. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open my garage door here, and that turns it on. All right. And uh, as you can see, I've got it mounted in there. Garage is still a mess because I haven't cleaned up yet, but uh, it seems to be uh, seems to be working. So it's green. I'm gonna pull in as I get closer. It's gonna start turning blue. Move around, and uh, as it gets closer, I'm gonna slow down until it's red. Go ahead and stop, and we'll see how close I am. I put a piece of tape down where I parked before, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's right on the money. So looks like this thing works. Um, so it's pretty pretty neat. Uh, it's all pretty clean there. I've got it. I've got the USB port on the Arduino exposed, so I can still program it if I need to make any changes. Um, and then I've dimmed the LED because uh, the uh, power brick I have in the garage door opener uh, only puts out one amp and these um, NeoPixels consume quite a bit of power and uh, what happens is it causes like a, a weird fluctuation in the reading from the um, from that ultrasonic range finder and uh, makes the LED go crazy showing all the different uh, positions that it thinks it's in so uh, turn the brightness down which I think helps anyway because these things are way too bright um, you know you can still pull in and see it and it doesn't freak out and uh, it works fine in the one amp 5 volt chargers so uh, that's it for now um, and uh, like before it's pretty simple to program you just push the button little green LEDs go around flashes a couple times to let you know to get out of the way change the way it flashed a little bit and then uh, tells you that it saved it. And so that's the new setting. You can see it, there's a little bit of uh, flickering when it's real close like that. So I could probably program it a little, a little uh, hysteresis um, to kind of negate a little bit of that if it's like bouncing between two numbers. You know, this, this, the sensor's supposedly good to three centimeters, but uh, you know, if, it, if there's a stationary object in front of it, a lot of times it'll fl a flash back and forth between, you know, 127 and 126 and it causes this. So this can probably be programmed out a little bit. So I'll, I'll be tweaking the code a little bit more. Um, but for the most part, I mean, can't beat that result. Put a little piece of tape down and it stopped on the red and it stopped right where I wanted it. So, yeah, all good.